Welcome everybody. Today we're going to take a deep dive into high schools in Albany, New York. Specifically, Albany High School. Now buckle up because this one's going to be a controversial topic for sure. Welcome to the Living in Albany, New York YouTube channel. I'm Bob Eberly, and why should you listen to me? Well, I've lived in the Capital District my entire life, so I got a few things to say about it. Hey, if you want to learn everything there is to know about what it's like to eat, sleep, play, and work in the Capital District of Albany, New York, hit that subscribe button down below. I think it's over on that side. Uh, right next to it is the little bell notification. If you click that, and go on up to uh, all, you will get notified every time we upload a new video. Also, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button or that plus thumbs up button, whatever it's called. Uh, that's a nice way of showing us thank you and it doesn't cost anything and I'd really appreciate it. Finally, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below or you can go to bobeberly.realtor, Eberly is spelled E-B-E-R-L-E, -E, and there you're gonna get all of my links, which you'll be able to schedule a Zoom call, you can shoot me an email, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and if we get enough questions, hey, I might even shoot a Q&A video, that could be fun. Also, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you some, a few private school options in case public school is not your cup of tea. Now that we got all that out of the way, well, let's get into it. Albany High School. Personally, I never went to Albany High School. I grew up in Troy. But if you go on Google and type in Albany High School, you're going to hear a lot of negative stuff about it, which I don't quite honestly understand. Because when you really start to take a good hard look at the school, you're going to see that it offers a lot of things that a lot of schools don't offer. So let's talk about it here. I think Albany gets a bad rap. Uh, if you search it, like I said, you're going to find some haters out there for sure. So let's start establishing a few facts. All schools have issues today. I don't care where they are. However, I'm not trying to jinx Albany by this, but they have never had a school bang bang. There is actually a website out there that you can go to and search for that sort of thing. And it will give you all the information about schools that have had these things happen. Pretty interesting stuff. In our area, believe it or not, there's only been three instances where something like that happened. And only one time it was what you've come to know from Columbine and, you know, some of the other ones that those unfortunate things have happened. There's the reason that this has probably never happened at Albany High School is because they take security seriously. Uh, children, students enter the school through one set of doors, the main set. There's metal detectors there, there are police on the inside of the building, and there's police on the outside of the building. If you were to try to get in there with a you-know-what, uh, you're probably going to get face-planted into the sidewalk. As someone once said to me, real gangsters sleep in, and they don't go to school. They're outside being entrepreneurs, if you know what I mean. At Albany High School, they strive to provide their students with the best education possible. Albany High is known for its diverse student body, strong academics, and supportive community. Albany High's mission is to prepare the student body for success in college and beyond. They offer a wide range of academic programs, including advanced placement courses, which you'll find in pretty much every high school, honor classes, career and placement courses, which I found to be interesting when I was researching this for this video. They offer a lot of those career, uh, they used to be called BOCES back in the day, career courses that a lot of schools don't offer anymore. Uh, we'll get into that. They also have what's called University in High School. Now, not every school has this. And what this is, is a joint venture between the high school and a variety of different colleges, many of the major colleges in the area here, where students can take college courses in high school and that credit is transferable to the college when they eventually go there. That's going to save the family and the students some money on tuition and gives them a jump start on college. To find out more about these schools, 
uh, in particular the the elementary and the middle schools and because I think there's like 13 or 14 schools in the Albany school system go to albanyschools.org and if you click on Albany High it'll take you right to the high school page let's talk about diverse student body Albany High boasts a truly diverse student body uh, with students from all walks of life coming together to learn and grow their school is the home to students with different ethnic, cultural, and socioeconomic backgrounds, as well as students with various abilities and interests. The diversity creates a vibrant and dynamic learning environment where students can learn from each other's experiences and perspectives. At Albany High School, they believe that exposure to diversity is an essential component of a well-rounded education. Couldn't agree with them more. Our students are encouraged to embrace differences and appreciate the unique qualities that each individual brings to the table. By fostering a culture of inclusivity and respect, they create an environment where every student feels valued and supported. Okay, the big topic that we're going to get into is strong academics. Because when I was, like I said, when I was researching this, I found really some really surprising and cool things that is offered at Albany High School. They pride ourselves on a rigorous academic programs that prepare students for success in college and beyond. Their faculty is dedicated to providing a challenging yet supportive learning environment that encourages students to reach their full potential. If your child wants to succeed, they are gonna be able to do that here in this school. Our, their curriculum includes a wide range of courses and subjects such as math, science, social studies, English, and foreign language. They also offer advanced placement courses for students who want to challenge themselves and earn college credit and, and while still in high school. In addition, they have partnerships with local colleges and universities to allow students to take college level courses and gain valuable experience before graduating. Let's talk about some courses for a minute. Business, where you browse the courses here, you see the normal business, math, accounting, and others. Sports, entertainment, marketing. Now that caught my eye. That was never anything that was offered when I was in high school, because I'd have been all over that. All others, art offers crafts, electronic media, drawing and painting, graphic arts, and more. The college department has career explorations, work experience credit, AVID, and NCAA certificate for certification for athletes. CTA, which stands for Career and Technical Education, this is what used to be called BOCES. They offer the Automotive Tech Program, Barbering 1 to 3, Construction Tech, Cosmetology 1 through 3, Culinary Arts 1 through 3, Health and Sciences 1 through 3. Plus, there are extracurricular activities. PLTW, Project Lead the Way. Courses include civil engineering, computer integrated manufacturing, design and drawing for production, engineering essentials, and engineering design and development. Technology offers energy and robotics, computer science, civil engineering and architecture, and new for this year, this is going to be really cool, there's going to be a lot of kids signing up for this, game design and development. How many of those PlayStation and Xbox players are going to be enrolled in this thing? In their language arts, they, in addition to the usual courses that you find in most schools, like French and Spanish and, and a few others, they're now offering Chinese as a second language. Great decision. At Albany High School, they believe that education is not just limited to the classroom. That's why they offer a wide range of extracurricular activities for their students to participate in. Now, when you say extracurricular activities, you usually think of just the sports teams. While they have all the sports teams, uh, I was just down there the other day, and they've got a huge tennis court with a sign-up just for Albany High's t uh, varsity tennis, and uh, that also includes the junior varsity, of course. There's a bunch of kids out there playing tennis. You never see that anywhere else where kids are playing tennis in the summer. Uh, I was really surprised to see that. But in addition to the sports teams, they've got academic clubs, and there's, there's something for everybody here. 
The extracurricular activities are designed to help students develop important skills such as leadership, teamwork, and time management. They also provide opportunities for students to explore their interests and passions outside of just the classroom. I don't know about you, but this sounds like a pretty great school if you ask me. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'm going to start using my left hand. This is my left hand. Next to it um, is the bell notification. Click the bell notification. Click all. And give us a thumbs up. I certainly would appreciate it. Uh, and if you think this video is great, I certainly hope you do. Please feel free to share it with a friend. Or if you know somebody moving to Albany, share it to, to a friend or the Capital District. Uh, you can also leave comments down below. I do read them all. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're coming around third base and we're going to bring it home. Can you tell I was a sports guy? Uh, big Yankee fan here. Supportive community. At Albany High School, they pride themselves on having a supportive community. Their teachers and staff are dedicated to providing a safe and inclusive learning environment for all students. They're always available to offer guidance and support, whether it's through one-on-one -on -one meetings or group activities. Our, their fellow students also play a crucial role in creating a supportive community. They come in from diverse backgrounds and have different interests, but they all share a common goal of academic excellence. When you go on their website, you're going to see that uh, there's pictures of kids and there's, there's a link where you can see different colleges. Kids have graduated from Albany High and then went on to. And there's Ivy League schools on there. There's schools like Hudson Valley, which is just across the river. That's a junior college. There's a wide range of schools. And I really believe this school is getting a bad rap on the internet. That's why I chose to shoot this video. They, co they collaborate on projects, participate in the clubs and organizations, cheer each other on at sporting events. And when I was down there yesterday, it looked like it was the football team getting ready for the season coming up because uh, that's not too far from here. I think it was the football team. Could have been a soccer team. Not sure. I was across the street. No matter what their interests are, they're going to find a welcoming community at Albany High School. Uh, it's important to remember that everyone's needs are different. So take the time to evaluate what are the most important things for you. Consider factors such as job opportunities, cultural experiences, and the proximity to family and friends. By doing so, you'll be able to make an informed decision that will lead to a happy and fulfilling life wherever you decide to relocate to. Uh, in conclusion, Albany High School offers an exceptional education with a diverse student body, strong academic programs, and supportive community. Their students are well prepared for college and beyond, and thanks to their rigorous curriculum and dedicated teachers. But Albany High is more than just academics. Their extracurricular activities provide opportunities for students to explore their interests and develop new skills. And their community is one that fosters inclusivity and acceptance, making it a welcoming place for all students. We invite you to consider Albany High for your education. Uh, with their commitment to excellence and supportive uh, environment, we believe that you will thrive here. Uh, now, perhaps public schools aren't what you would want your kids to go to. Hey, that's okay. Public school isn't for everybody. I know me personally, in my four years of high school, my first two years were at a private school, and my second two years were at a public school. Two best years of my life at the public school. I loved that school. Um, couldn't wait to get out of the private school. <laughs> I felt like I was in prison. So let me give you some alternatives to Albany High School in the city of Albany. Uh, there's Albany Academy for Boys and Albany Academy for Girls. There's also Christian Brothers Academy, which is over near the Albany Airport. There's Green Tech Academy. Um, and recently, the Catholic Diocese combined several high schools together at the St. Ambrose campus in Latham. This school is now called Catholic High School. As I said, my name is Bob and I'm a New York State real estate broker here in the Capital District. I'm an associate broker in the Albany area with eXp Realty. We are your number one relocation team in the area. We get so many people reaching out to us about their move to the 518, also known as the Cap D. They call, text, and email on a daily basis and we love it. 
you can do the same thing too. Shoot me a text, go ahead and give me a call or skip all that. Go right to BobEberly.Realtor. Eberly is spelled E-B-E-R-L-E. -E, and I think you all know Realtor. It's not Realtor. Realtor is R-E-A-L-T-O-R. And uh, you can get all my links there. You can schedule a medium meeting on my calendar there. I'll send you a Zoom link and we'll get to meet each other a little face-to-face. -face. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when you're moving to the Cap D. I'll talk to you soon.